You know, it's hard to think of one person changing the way they live and making a difference, but, you know, it can be contagious. I am a student. I am a teacher. I am affected by climate change. And I am affected by global climate change. Meet Katie Briancy, a junior digital communications major and social justice minor here at Cabrini University. I feel like I've always been sort of aware of climate change, even like from when I was like in elementary school and middle school, um, you know, e even back when it was still just like global warming. Through her work outside of the classroom with CRS, she has dedicated herself to advocating for the global issue of climate change. Oddly enough, my first reaction to it was that it's like not real. Like a lot of people in my family are very much of the mindset that climate change isn't real. And so I was young enough that I just sort of like followed with them. My name is Dr. Emily Basil. I am an assistant professor here at Cabrini College. The environmental science class that I took in high school would probably be the first time I was really introduced to it. And it was something that I learned about, but I, I don't remember it being um, you know, a pressing issue that I was concerned about. When I was a freshman, um, I was sitting in my ECG class and somebody read off this statistic that every time the temperature of the earth raises a degree, 10% of all usable farmland is no longer usable. It turned from just like a theoretical thing that was happening, you know, the earth is getting warmer, whatever, to wow, this is like really impacting people's lives um, and it's ruining people's lives. So there's something called the greenhouse effect. So there are specific greenhouse gases. So you've probably heard that word before, right? Carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas. So is water vapor, so is methane, and some other types of gases. That helps hold in some of the energy from the sun to warm up our atmosphere so that life can flourish on Earth. The problem is, is that humans have been increasing the levels of some of those greenhouse gases through um, processes that are not natural. For example, burning fossil fuels. So the more gases we enter into the atmosphere, the more heat gets trapped. And so that can in turn increase the temperature of the atmosphere to levels that would be more than if by just natural processes. Unfortunately, what happens is that, you know, first world countries are the ones that um, really contribute to climate change, but they're not the ones that feel the effects of it. It's the third world countries that feel the effects of it. My fear is for my children and what world they're going to have to live in and how it will affect them. I feel like it's my responsibility as somebody who has, you know, in my life contributed to climate change to help stop it, you know, in the name of people who can't. Understanding the impacts of global climate change and, you know, what can be done to help either mitigate those effects or even change um, the, the release of these gases into the atmosphere is, is very important. I feel like a lot of what I do is like really small things. We're like, you know, trying recycling, um, trying, you know, to, to purchase things that are energy efficient and, you know, just trying to reduce my carbon footprint as much as possible. You know, when you're able to go purchase a car on your own, do I do the hybrid? Or do I use the, the regular type of combustion engine? Well, that's going to burn fossil fuels. Is it worth the extra couple of bucks that it will take, you know, to get the hybrid? So when you charge your cell phone, don't let it charge all night for eight hours. So if it's got a full charge, unplug it. Just be conscious about your energy consumption and try to cut back where you can. I've also got the opportunity with CRS to lobby in Washington, D.C. And one of the topics that I did lobby on was climate change. And so that's not only um, saying that, you know, I standing these people who are being affected by climate change, but I want our, um, you know, our government officials to stand with them as well. It's become that it's not just enough for me to be like, oh yeah, climate change is real and it's affecting people and we need to stop it. And it makes me really want to, you know, advocate for it. Yeah.